Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. Ooh. And in this episode we're basically wrapping up all the other side quests that we have to do in Low Rule slash High Rule. The first thing that we want to do though is we need to head over to High Rule. Yeah. We're going to go to Kakariko because you may remember kind of far back we got a letter in a bottle from a man who desperately needed some milk. So yeah, we're gonna start taking care of that. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta go, well, first get the bottle, and then go to Kakariko. Now, I haven't pointed this out yet, because honestly, you can kind of go without it, knowing it, but there is a milk bar all the way over here, mm -hmm. to the south of Kakariko. And if we talk to the bartender in this said milk bar, he'll be like, Welcome, care for a nicey cold glass of, oh, you heard about my premium milk? How'd you find out about that good stuff? I see a message in a bottle. And from someone straight up on the mountain. Could only be one guy. He's a tricky customer. Sorry to ask, but could you take this premium milk to him? I bet I'll help him up and heal up in no time. Sure thing. And he's going to hand us some premium milk. He's a regular at my establishment. He loves exploring the mountains. Last time I was here, I think he said his next expedition was near the Tower of Hera. I can't afford to lose business, man. Help me out. <laughs> So yeah, that's obviously Talon from Ocarina in Time, so it's kind of cool to see he's, um, has work in another dimension. Now to do this very, uh, I'd say it's kind of brief, but it's actually not. To do the side quest, you just need one thing, well, the bottle with the milk in it, and the hookshot. So we have both those things, so now we can continue. Now to the east, or actually technically right, well, I guess it's kind of both, of the Tower of Hera. There is this bridge, but without the hookshot, you can't get across. And oh my gosh, it's the Lyles, or... Linus, the lion things from Zelda 1. I really like these enemies. I want to see them back more. And yeah, they're actually kind of kicking my butt. Oh my gosh. Even with the uh, upgraded sword, <laughs> I'm not messing with you, dude. They're proving to be quite troublesome to me. And yeah, so this is essentially where you want to go. There is a heart piece over here that could have been gotten very early, basically as soon as we could have gotten the hook shot. But I put it off because, well, honestly, I'm kind of lazy. And what we have to do is we have to drop down from these platforms pretty constantly actually <laughs> it's um a very cool side quest basically but yeah there's a ton of goodies to get in this area no no that blue poor blue rupee now starting from here this is kind of like the midway point there are three directions in which we can go this way is going to give us a piece of heart so now we need to bust out our hammer let's go ahead and get that real fast put it on the y button now this is a series of giant springs that we're gonna have to activate to propel ourselves into the air and take us from one platform to another. So, yeah, this is kind of... I like this, and... Ooh, gosh, dang it! Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a little bit tricky, but it is very fun, in a way. So, oh, well, it's fun when you do it correctly, I guess I should say. And yeah, you gotta get the timing down just right, and I'm a little bit... Uh, not really the best at this, so we'll see how, how we go. And Okay, awesome, all right. This one's the toughest though, but it's we're almost to the heart piece. So let's hit it right now. And if we do it correctly, we totally suck. <laughs> I was off by like a hair, come on. Okay. But you saw the heart piece was right up there. We just gotta be a little bit better about our timing and we should get there without too much of a hassle. Let's hit it right now. And get up on there. Come on! Oh I was too late this time. Gosh dang it. This is gonna take me a while, I can just tell already. Oh goodness. And then we gotta go all the way back down. I don't know, man. I sure hope I can do this. Ooh. Yes, that was perfect. Awesome. Well, not really perfect. Could have been better. And that is another piece of heart. Admittedly, we could have got this a really long time ago, but I thought since we're over here, we might as well get it now. So, so now we're just going to wait for our little bus to, you know, pick us up from the bus stop and so we can go to school. Let's drop down now. Okay, super. Let's just be very careful so we don't die. That would be really awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm trying to be extra cautious because we have a lot to do in this episode and I want to get it all done, confound it. Now let's wait for this to bring us all the way over there. Awesome, okay. Now we just have one more platform to fall off to. However, we're not actually done with this giant fiery pain in the butt area inside of Death Mountain. We see that dude still needs that milk, so we gotta go deliver that to him. And I think, yeah, okay. I have the bad habit of falling off when I'm like actually on the platform still. And the next thing we want to do is we want to come over here and then wait for another platform. My cat is doing something in the other room and it is really loud. Hope you guys can't hear that. My cat loves destroying my recording habits. Anyways, so 
this is admittedly a way easier one. You just have to wait. Yeah, it's really just that. It's not too hard. I'm going to jinx myself, though, and totally die, but hopefully not. Let's just take it easy. Mm -hmm. What are you guys up to? Uh, personally, I'm almost I'm getting ready for school at the moment. Oh, yeah, remember that for later, okay? Just remember that for later. Gotcha. Cool. I'm getting ready for school, ready to make the move, play tons of games over the break, beat tons of games. And I'm almost burned out and ready for school again. You know the feeling? Eh, you guys probably know the feeling. And then you realize you're back in school like, oh, I could have played so many more games. Ugh. Anyways, we need to now take out the premium milk and merge on this wall. And the entire reason we came all the way over here for this old dude. Let's talk to him. Ugh, how embarrassing. I was bouldering along just fine when I slipped and fell and twisted my ankle. Now I'm stuck. Hey, yeah, what is that? You think it is milk? Ice cold milk! Jeez, I like milk too, but this guy's crazy gimme. Mm. <laughs> uh, Boulder guy seems to like his milk, huh? That really hits the spot. Best milk in the kingdom, right? Uh, wait, uh, whoops. Uh, did I drink the whole thing? <laughs> Sorry, friend. And after you came all this way, well, how about doing me a favor? Here, take this garbage away. He's gonna give us the last bottle of the game. Yeah, no joke, that's how you get it. It's kind of funny, I think. <laughs> so yeah, down, get out of here and just come down here, actually. It honestly doesn't matter. Then go back. Now this is the other path which we didn't go. Oh, gosh dang it, stinking keys. This is the other way in which we went, or didn't go, actually. We still have one more path to explore, which is going to take us to Low Rule Death Mountain, which is going to be really stinking rad. So yeah, this is what I was referring to. If you go that way by accident, you know how to get back now, hopefully. So yeah, this path was much easier than the heart piece one, so... Yeah. But the hardest path is yet to come. The failure is still going to happen. So yeah, I don't really know how much um content that I want to complete in this episode, because uh, Low Rural Death Mountain is huge. It's debatably the biggest area in the game, so uh, I don't really know how much I'm going to get done of it in this episode, but I'm going to give it my best, guys, and we're going to knock out this game efficiently. So let's see... Uh... Now should be a good time. Yay. Okay, so this is the hardest one. You basically have to jump off really quickly and preemptively. That was way too fast. Oh, gosh. Basically, oh my goodness. This is going to take forever. This is the really, really hard one. I don't like it. It's going to take me a couple tries. And can this thing hurry up and go? I guess not. Oh, my gosh. And then it comes right then. Kidding me. Goodness. Okay, so let's try this another time. If I mess up too many times, I'm just gonna cut it out because nobody wants to see that. Ah! Come on. <sighs> shouldn't have jinxed myself. I really shouldn't have. Okay, we'll give it another shot. I wanna make a little progress, not just like mess up on the first one. I actually wanna show you how you can complete it. There you go. So, patience really does help you in this situation, like a lot. Just There we go. Awesome. All right. We're gonna wait for this one to go under us, or should we do that? I don't know. It'd probably be easier to go left of it, but something tells me I'm gonna mess that up. You know what? YOLO! Ah! Okay, sweet. So we're really close to the lava now. That means we're almost done with this. Just gotta get one last platform, which will not be easy. Not be easy at all. I actually don't know. I think you have to go down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to go down. So let's try that. But it's not even here yet. Okay, just do it. Uh, okay, we did it. Awesome. So yeah, that one is a little bit on the tricky side, but the reward you get from going this way actually isn't even that good. If you read this, Rosa or mine, a way out. Huh. But let's actually exit really briefly and see what's on the other side. Ooh. Nothing. Literally nothing. But there is something. Which is really confusing. Where the crap is it? Goodness. Ugh. Okay. So there is a thingy, and we're going to go inside the thingy, and it's going to be really good. Now this is going to give us a weather vane, basically, so we can go back and forth. We won't have to do that ever again. And hey, it's Hilda, who's going to introduce us to this new area. Welcome back to Leru Kingdom Link. This is Death Mountain. Here it is, always winter. Somewhere buried under the ice is a ruined hall. A sage with a soul as formidable as a boulder awaits you. You must hurry, though. His spirit will not last forever with such a cursed ice everywhere. So say I, Hilda of Low Rule. Okay, Hilda. And yeah, this is the weather vane that we basically did all that work for, but I think you could have got it another way. Now there's a ton, 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 ton of different ways they can go about getting onto Low Rule Death Mountain. But this is just one of my ways. I guess it made sense because, you know, I did all that other section. And yeah, we're just going to explore a little bit. Let's actually read this. A 
dire fate awaits those who approach the ice ruins. Oh my. Can we do it, guys? Can we defeat the ice ruins? I sure hope so. Now, <laughs> it's basically the same thing that we just encountered. No kidding, except the platforms are dramatically uh, smaller and harder to navigate. So, yeah, be very careful in this area. Let's also take care of these bats. They're really key, so they're just kind of like one-eyed bats. Don't know what's all that about. Let's go on, merge on here. Mm-hmm. Now, I gotta make sure that you can survive, and this is kind of a cool area. I like this part. <laughs> Link is dancing. Anyways, let's get off. And now this is the tricky part. Uh, uh, okay, I lived. Awesome. Okay, let's merge on here. Now there is... Alright, we're going for the heart piece. I made up my mind. I'm like, should I do it right now or should I wait? We're doing it right now. Now, you need the tornado rod to do this. Now, admittedly, I'm not very good at this. So this is also probably going to be another fail Taj, but I, I don't care. You guys may, but... I don't know. It might be kind of funny. Anyways. So essentially you have to use the tornado rod like that. Yeah. Kind of a pain. But if you mess up, there's a couple of like checkpoints, so it's not too bad. Now let's get on this. And okay, so far we're doing good. I haven't died yet. Uh, uh, let's try and I'm dead. I jinxed myself. Again. I guess you could say I got jinxed. Ha. Ha. I have no friends. <laughs> That wasn't even a pun. What am I doing, dude? I don't know. And please hurry up. I'd like to defeat this place quickly. My depth perception is so bad. This is one area that would probably actually help you if you had the 3D on. I don't know. Maybe. Anywho. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh. There's going to be so much fail in this episode. I'm going to taste it. Why did I do that? The platform was even close to me. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad. Okay. Enough of saying you're bad, you know, we need to have some confidence, man, or we're never going to get this heart piece. Now, admittedly, this isn't the only way to go. There's a couple ways. Okay, we need to, yeah, do that. There's a couple, there's a couple, actually a ton of things to do on Death Mountain, and we've only scratched the surface. Now, this time, I'm taking my time. I'm analyzing what I did wrong before, and this time, we're doing it right. There we go. Super. <laughs> that one's a little tricky, actually. Ugh, get out of my way. Okay. Let's defeat you, and... You I want the heart. Eh, eh. Okay. So let's come out here and see what's on the other side. Ooh. Ooh. It is one of these things. And we got a marriage. And there we go. It is a golden rupee. But that is not all. We need to come down here. And oh my gosh. How did that snowball hit me? I was already in the door, dude. <laughs> this doesn't matter. But yeah, that is a golden rupee. And we kind of have to do the same thing over again. So that was where the bottle was. Now we actually have to hunt for the heart piece, which can be slightly traumatic, or not traumatic, just difficult to get to. Hmm. So let's take our time. I kind of want to just show off everything that's in these areas, like right now, because it's actually relevant. So I'm sure you guys will understand. Now let's uh, wait for this. Let it sit there for a little bit. Mm-hmm. And get out. Now there is a giant... Um. <laughs> Ar frozen Armos, I guess. Uh, he, you don't even have to deal with him. Maybe the fire rod, you can kill him in one hit, but I'm actually just buying time, basically. Eh, get out of here, dude. Oh, goodness. My, I'm sorry, I'll be right back. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. That dang cat is making so much racket. I'm probably going to have to edit some of it out. But anyways, what I was saying is, that was a 300 rupee chest. Definitely a good grab, but we're still after much more. We need more treasure, basically. So we need to do this again. And yes, okay, cool. So this time, okay, last time we went south, this time we're going north. Yeah, it's gonna be a little tricky, but we're gonna do it. Okay, let's get on there. And this is a really, hmm, I wanna say this part's really hard, but I don't know. Maybe it's all in my head. I don't know. It doesn't matter though. Let's go in there. Okay. This is gonna take us to one of the last heart pieces. I'm gonna wait for that to cradle back. And if we did that properly, yep, we can go on to the other platform. Let's just wait it out, and the second it moves, basically, you just want to press the X O Y button, propel yourself in the air, and there we go. So let's get out of here, and this is going to lead us to another heart piece. Yes, we only have one more heart piece to go. This may be a little familiar to you if you played A Link to the Past. Yeah, it's kind of in the exact same area. Sort of cool. So we go over to Hyrule, there is another heart piece. Guys, we need one more heart piece, and we'll have them all. Holy crap. So with that being said, it's time that we go through the main path. I just want to show those two treasures off because, well, they're kind of cool. No pun intended since we're in like an ice area. But yeah, we kind of have to go back. So 
Sorry if that annoys you, but, you know, this place is actually pretty cool. It's pretty challenging once you get the hang of the whole, you know, platform thing. Okay, we need to wait for this. And use our tornado rod, but this time to fall down. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Now we're going to actually probably just get on the edge and do that. Super! So that was actually way easier than the um, 300 rupee chest one. Just because it didn't take me as long, and... Oh, I actually forget what to do in this situation. I'm pretty... Oh, okay, I just gotta wait a little bit. Not a big deal, okay. So, we're on a pretty good uh, start, I'd like to think. We got um a couple... We got a bottle, we got a couple heart pieces. We just need one more. But where do we get that last heart piece? Well, there is a specific... I want to call it a dungeon, but it's really not at all. It's kind of just like a challenge that we have to take care of. And I'm just gonna do this and hope for the best... Yes! Okay, we did it. Awesome. Alright. So, now what we have to do is we have to go north, which means dealing with this armos for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Just avoid him. It's really easy. And the second you get the chance, get on this platform, which will take us to the north pole. Ho-ho! Now, in my opinion, this is the toughest one of these platforming sections, just because I have really bad depth perception due to me having glasses for half my life. Actually, no more than that. I've had glasses since I was in the, uh, First grade, man. I was just like, Mom, what color are trees? And then and then my mom was like, he might need glasses, maybe. It's kind of funny, but yeah. Uh, let's um do this. Oh my gosh, this part is really tense, and I probably shouldn't start talking about my need for eyeglasses. You know, funny stories when we're doing something so difficult. And wow, I actually kind of did that relatively easily. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. That actually took me a lot of times in my first time doing it. But yeah, I basically had glasses my whole life. I just recently started using contacts a couple of years ago. I think like, I don't know, how many years ago? I think like when I started high school or something. And those definitely helped out me a lot with my depth perception and driving and crap like that. But we are finally here, guys, to the ice ruins. However, we are not 100% ready to enter this place. I just want to get the weather vane so we don't have to do that bull crap ever again. Because it's actually relatively annoying. If I remember, there's a rupee chest somewhere. Uh, to get inside of the ice ruins, you need one thing, which is, well... The fire rod. Once you have that, you should be okay. And yeah, so we basically did a lot of navigating inside of caves and a lot of platforming. Let's actually use this new fire rod we got. Now the fire rod, oh my gosh, it is a little tricky. It's because holding down the um the respective button doesn't actually show the aiming reticule, which I kind of dislike. And the fact that, well, you can out you can hit yourself with the fire. I'm gonna use a silver rupee though, that's what I'm gonna show off. But oh, we actually got a lot of rupees in this episode, didn't we? Crazy. Hmm. But that's not all I wanted to talk about because, yes, we could go inside of the ice ruins, but there is still that last darn heart piece we have to get. Now, where is that? Well, we're going to find out in the next episode once I kill this stinking thing so I can save my game. Oh my... You will die. No. He's actually faster than I thought. Okay, he's dead. Am I, am I safe? Am I safe? Okay, I'm just going to ignore that tech tech. Anyways... So yeah, that's how you open up the ice ruins, but we're not going to do that yet, because in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, we're going to track down the final heart piece. Thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you guys then. Bye.